Monkey, 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 and more. It's Steven's Monkey Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and I'm back with another Dragon Ball fit. Oh, it's not a figure arts. Oh, it's going to be a third party Dragon Ball review. And this year for Dragon Ball releases, I think fans are eating really good, whether official or third party, because today we're going to be taking a look at formerly Kong Studios. Now it's going to be Beast Deities. I'll talk about that in a second. Super Saiyan 5 Dragon Ball AF Goku. We all saw it back in the day. We all found it on Google Images. Oh boy, <laughs> we have an official action figure. And this is surprisingly not flying off the proverbial, if you will, shelves everywhere. But just like Gohan Blanco, we now have something of myth in action figure form. Is it all it's hyped up to be, or is this just bootleg trash. Let's take a look to see whether or not it's going to be worth adding into your collection. Normally when I do a 360 spin view and take a look at the sculpt and the paint, it's just vanilla how it is out of the box. I'm not going to do that, but we are going to take a look at the head sculpt and the hands that are kind of sort of not really meant to be default. So Kong Studios... I guess I'm exposing here, switched over to Beast Deities because they were kind of sort of looking to skirt around copyright and trademark and so forth issues that's assumed. So what they did was they turned this into a Beast Deity, if you will. Anhor, A-N-H-U-R, I think it is. Uh, pardon the pronunciation. So you get a generic... Uh, cat head along with some paws. I'm not really covering that here in this video. Again, it's just meant to be throwaway. So this way, upon product inspection, that's what this actually is. It's not a Dragon Ball figure. And the head is meant to be a pen holder and the faces are meant to be happy bookmarks. I'm not joking. That's what they came up with. So sorry to expose, but I'm trying to give people the information. So when you get this, you're going to have three boxes. That's a long way of saying that's why Goku's head is here and his default smiling face and fists. So taking a look at the figure, what I will say is they pretty much knocked it out of the part in terms of paint application and the sculpt. I really don't have much else to say, and that's the reason why I squeeze this in here. Some will say that the paint shading may be off for the hair, but honestly, I don't think it's that big of an issue. Maybe they could have added a little bit of a gray spray to it, and some folks could say that they preferred the hair for the uh, Xenoverse, the superhero, the time patroller, uh, the previous Super Saiyan 5 Goku that they released. I don't have that open, so I can't say. But nevertheless, I think that the hair looks good here. When we take a look at the face plates, I think that all of the ones included look good. We do have the skirt, the kilt that is included here for Goku. All the paint applications there look great. The boots are solid. The actual band that is going to be on the right arm, you can remove that. So if you wanted to, you could. Uh, uh, the Honestly, the only issue is going to be a couple metaphorical dingleberries, if you will, that are going to be left over for some plastic parts on the figure, uh, kind of like flash marks. So I have really no issues. The figure looks great. Hey, Bandai. Tamashi. Look what they're uh, Super Saiyan f f three five. Anyway, all right. So Goku's articulation here is actually pretty solid, all things considered. Um, I will cover an issue that some folks have had. Um, I'm not going to go over the Beast Deity articulation since this is just a little head you can rock back and forth. But uh, Goku's. All right. So the hair. We do have a couple of joints in here, which is actually going to be very similar to. Oh, oh. They fixed a couple of things. So the hair, uh, basically we're going to have a joint here, which is going to be a swivel and hinge combo. It's very similar to a ball joint. So we can twist and turn on swivel and we can get a little bit of a hinge. And then we're going to have another hinge joint here up and down and twist and turn. So we can get some pretty neat articulation there. We can, you know, get Goku to do something like that. We can move the hair down, all that fun stuff. 
The uh, neck joint where it plugs into the head is going to be a ball joint, and that's kind of where uh, some breakage issues have been happening. So for those breakage issues, uh, when you go to swap out the heads, because again, they were kind of sort of cheeky with the idea that they needed to go with uh, some skirting of copyright, you needed to put this head on, and when you go to pop the head on, uh, it broke the socket or it broke the joint but we do have a double axis or barbell style joint and you can get Goku to look up and down, left and right. And you know, that's okay. So when you shake him, the hair causes the head to fall, but compared to their super saiyan three, that is pretty astonishing that the hair is not, it is not heavy enough to go against the joint, which is amazing. All things considered. Okay. So tapping it, which is fine. Now, Similar to uh, the Super Saiyan 4 official figure arts, uh, we do have these pieces of the hair, which are on a ball joint. I have unfortunately seen a few folks uh, get a little rough with these and crack them. So just keep in mind that you don't really want to force them uh, one way or another. But thankfully, I was able to experiment and these can pop off. So if you are going to want to pop these off, just be gentle with them. Uh, for the rest of the articulation here on the chest, very similar to a Super Saiyan 4 design. So, uh, again, similar. Uh, the butterfly hinge kind of sort of wants to rock around, but I do get more solid movement pushing the arm forward. It does look like inside the body cavity, from what I can see, there's a formal butterfly hinge instead of a ball joint system. Uh, but, you know, it does move like a ball joint, so I can't really officially call it, but Again, it does move like a ball joint. Um, I did just forget to mention this plugs in on a ball joint, but, you know, you can kind of see how that moves. Uh, the arms do plug into that joint system on a ball joint, so we can spin the arms around, and you can just move this piece of hair out of the way. There we go. Just like that. Move the hair. We Hinge in the shoulders, so Goku can T-pose if you would like. And of course, a bicep swivel. Double hinge elbows. This one, a little loose. That's okay. For the wrists, this is also something else. Uh, we do have varying degrees of quality control from some people. Um, just be careful using um, any method you're going to use to pop off. But those of you who collect figure arts, you should be very familiar. We do have a peg that plugs into the forearm. We do have a hinge and then the hands pop in on a ball joint. So that hinge will only move in one direction. You're going to need to spin the swivel to get the hinge to move in another direction. And then of course, because the hand plugs in on that ball joint, we can boop, swap the hands that way and spin the hand around again. Folks have broken it at that joint. Just be careful. Little bit of an ab crunch, uh, kind of restricted. Something to keep in mind. But thankfully, the waist joint is where the money is. That's going to be in a ball joint as well. Twist and turn. Okay. Hips. We do have, oh, look at that. The uh, skirt, kilt, whatever. It's going to be made of soft plastic, so... Oh, do we have a booty? Yep, that is sculpted in. But nevertheless, kick about that far forward. Oh, that far back. So it is a little forgiving there. And we can kick out to the side. So the uh, quote unquote 3.0, if you will, hips. Spin, thanks to thigh swivels. Double hinge knees. This one is tight, but it does work. Now the ankles, they suck. Why? Well... Um, we do get a little bit of spinning motion thanks to a swivel back and forth. We do get basically no ankle rocker movement, just a little bit. And hinge forward and back is non-existent. They basically did not consider the ankle movement at all. Like, look at that. I'm pushing. No movement. Toe movement, yes. For the tail, um, you pretty much know what we've got going on here. It's going to plug in. It's going to be just like the wrists. So, yay. Last thing that I didn't make mention. Oh, what about this bang? These are hard. This is kind of soft and you can move it around. Yeah. So articulation. There are some quality control issues, which some folks have noted. I would work with your retailer to make sure they have a good return policy or they can help you out. 
Uh, there is one in particular that has a number that has noted that they are going to be looking at the reason for the breakage and they will deny if they determine that it is a user error. So be careful. My tip, which I have seen officially, uh, when you go to swap out the heads, use heat. If you're ever worried about anything, if something is too tight, if something, you know, you can't get it on or off, use heat. But Goku's hair is spiky. This is hard plastic. It will hurt your hand. See? Use heat. Get a rag. Dish towel. Cover it. And then pop it on once you heat up the socket. Literally, that's what I did. It worked no problem. Good to go. For the hands. If you're experienced enough, eh, you don't really need to worry about it. But once again, use heat if you are. What I always do with my figure arts whenever I'm worried is I grab close to the forearm, right? And I grab, grab <laughs> close to the hand and that is where I pop off. So I'm not really putting a lot of pressure on anything except for the hand and closer to the joint as much as I possibly can. So there's not a whole lot of resistance. Then we do have the forearm parts. Uh, crossed arms, I should say, that we are going to need to pop apart at the bicep. Use heat once again. All right. Accessories. This section went on long enough. All right. Time to talk about accessories for Goku here. And we're not going to talk about the beast deities uh, head and hands because, you know, that's sort of standard in what this figure is supposed to be. But for Goku, we are going to get a total of four face plates. We're going to get some sets of hands, five in total, aside from the fists, and we are going to get crossed arms. So taking a look at the faces, again, we do get the smiling face, and then we are going to get a teeth gritting face plate. We're going to get a angry yelling face plate, which is cool. And then we're going to get a neutral sort of angry ish face plate where he's looking off to the side. While this is cool and it's great to have it again, I do prefer to have face plates, which are looking forward if we are going to have a neutral expression. So if we could have gotten this in addition to looking straight ahead, that would have been great for me crossed folded arms this is nice to have personally i really don't care for these too much except for the times where i'm going to use it for one picture and then that's it i really don't use these on my figures but i know a lot of people do like them but i will say his left hand covering his right bicep uh, that looks a little awkward i think uh, kind of looks more like a paw than it does a hand now for the hand parts that Goku is going to come with, we do have the instant transmission hands. We have his usual karate hands. We have splayed out hands. We have Kamehameha hands with and without the pegs. And that's going to be it. Of note, these hands do work with the Super Saiyan 3 Kong Studios figures that were released earlier this summer. And I will say that though they do look a little puffy, they are great because if you want your Super Saiyan 3 Kong Studio figure to use a Kamehameha charge effect part uh, and have it hold really well, uh, you can do that. Now that we are sort of wrapping everything up, here's going to be a quick 360 spin view of Super Saiyan 5 Goku with uh, unique effect parts, I think. So it's going to be the Kamehameha effect part that came with Orange Piccolo and then the Times 10 one that came with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, with that being said... Uh, Kong Studios, Beast Deities, whatever, they do already have a sculpt for the Charge Up Kamehameha effect, actually with the other Super Saiyan 5 normal, uh, what is it, the Time Patroller, whatever, Limit Break, whatever, uh, Super Saiyan 5 version that they did, and it's yellow, so I'm not sure why they didn't include it here, except for maybe sculpt cost and material cost, but they are going to be reusing this, I don't know, but you at least have the hands so you can reuse those charge effects. A stand should have been included, I feel, because even though I did demonstrate he can stand on one foot rather well, I do recommend having a stand for this guy just in case something happens. You don't want him to fall, which is why I used a stand to support him in the initial 360 spin view. But nevertheless, a solid vanilla package for this Goku. If you need support stands or other effect parts, you know I've got plenty of videos to help you out. And here's going to be a size comparison for you. And we're going to go ahead and throw in some figures. So this way you can see exactly how big Goku is. And realistically speaking, he is going to be a bit taller than some of your Dragon Ball figure arts, uh, most notably some of your Gokus. But honestly, um, at Dragon Ball AF, we don't know how big Goku is because it didn't exist. But I'm okay with this because, you know, this is meant to be 
uh, Goku's final form kind of sort of not really all things considered I think it's fine and it's passable buy now skip or wait for a deal if you if you're into this kind of thing with the third parties and the not bootleg stuff and so on and so forth this is a great purchase the only thing that I would have liked to have seen in here is an actual Kamehameha effect part considering the price but all things considered, I think this is a win. I think this is a great throwback to something that was online, a meme, and cool. I like it. I love it, actually. This is great to round off the year for my Dragon Ball collection. If you are a fan, I would highly recommend it because they may not do a reissue if this sells out. And also, they did a sort of evil Super Saiyan 5 with black hair, and they did a Super Saiyan 5 Rosé Goku Black as well. I won't be covering them, but I wanted to let you know. Yes, it's worth a purchase. Check it out if you're interested. <laughs> 